Hey guys, it's a uh, pizza mic. We're driving my Z today, and we're in front of a. Uh, or we're behind Nico. Which is so aggressive. Don't worry about that. That's normal. That's normal. It's. I just, you know, I haven't driven my Z in a while, so you know, it's. Uh, it's been a couple days, so. Hey Mike, when did you turn a uh, Filipino? Oh, uh, I've always been Filipino. You guys never <laughs> noticed. <laughs> this thing is gangster lean. He's driving in the back seat. Look if I sit all the way back. My first drive in Mike Z. It's pretty sick actually. I think I can hear the turbo just starting to build boost and I'm barely on the throttle. It's pretty nice, Mike. Oh, there we go. Nico and I traded cars. It's really good to be driving an S13 again. We're actually on our way to drop off the Z somewhere. The green Z, that is. Pretty badass. Hey, I kept my off guard how aggressive the clutch was. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> but pretty good. Yeah, dude, I love it. I miss mine. I know. It's so cool to see your own car while driving. Such an interesting experience. We got friends. My name's not Mike. My name's Nico. Remember, I was just dri like, you know, like. Yeah, you're driving your 180. Yeah, yeah. He's not. Mike's not Filipino. Yeah, Mike's white as hell. <laughs> oh, he's tan. has come. We are actually, you guys are not gonna believe this, we are actually painting the entire car. Two weeks. Two weeks deadline. Weeks. Trying to make it to final bout in this thing. Can we do it? It's pushing it. Well, I guess we can just play it by ear too. I would rather, you know, it be better quality than yeah. it be rushed, but I'm super excited, man. Me too, me too. We'll do a walk around, I'm gonna write down everything that we gotta do. Cool. I like that to-do list. There's gonna be a day that we have to take everything apart.
like that, the Black Z is now my new daily driver. Dang, those cars look good in there together. Andrew has already marked every area where he found some damage, so all of these pieces of tape are dents that we're gonna have to address. And there's quite a few, so. Step one is just taking off the kit, because he also has to repair some of this fiberglass that was busted already. Looks like this thing was resprayed before, huh? Resprayed? There's like primer in here. Looks like it just wore out. That's weird. Looks like Mr. Tim has stopped by. He's getting some stuff installed here. <laughs> Sick, dude. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So this one goes on this side. Is this uh, wiped? Yes. You, oh, thank it has you. Been wiped. I've had to deal with this. What do we think, Andrew? Supergirl, Pella JDM. Is this a thing they do in Japan? Plus 50 aura points. <laughs> Plus 50 RP. I don't like that overhang. Yeah. I feel like it should be flush out of here. But the fact that it overhangs down there is kind of ugly. So maybe just cut the end of it. Oh, that's so clutch, just pulling it. It almost looks like Q60 style tails. I've never taken off this rear bumper before, so I'm curious to see how it looks under there. Hopefully we don't find any surprise rust. Oh, you got skirts too? Yeah. Those look nice. Wow, this really looks like a part out now. Interesting to see the shapes of this thing underneath. Luckily, I'm not seeing any rust or damage. That's good news. The bash bar looks unusually low on this car. I mean, it is lowered, but I feel like they're usually a little higher up. Hey, have you taking your front bumper off too? Yeah. You got a new gun? Yeah. We don't need this. Yeah. <laughs> it's seen its fair share. A little bit, slight damage to the front. Slight. Nothing too major. <laughs> Only a ditch or two. <laughs> I'm excited, dude. This thing's getting a full refresh right now. Literally. You're putting yours together and I'm taking mine apart. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the only thing we do need to figure out about this one is transplanting the grill. Uh, yeah. Last but not least, let's take off this front bumper. Now you It's kind of crazy how the seat belts are a part of the door. So strange. Well, while this door panel is off, I guess I can swap this tan handle to black. I did swap that one previously. Looks like there's three bolts that hold on this mirror. All right, before we take that last one all the way out, let's unplug it. Look at this tiny gap they give you to fish this harness through. That's it. That's kind of ridiculous. And something I dread most of all, taking off door handles. Usually there's two bolts that hold it somewhere on the top, but you have to get it from the inside. So I have to roll the window up to get access to it. Looks like we'll have to take off maybe this plug here. Usually they give you a little access hole. Dang, this looks so fresh. New Tim, who dis? Got a sink outside? This is luxury, baby. Yep. 
both door handles are off. Now the next thing I need to figure out is how this trim piece comes off of the T-tops. But then I wonder how these come off. I got the glass off of this main piece here. I'm not too sure how this trim comes off, but while I'm inspecting it, I realized this crack in this seal, and I'm willing to bet that is what's causing water to leak in during the rain. I always see it pool up around here. I always thought it was something to do with the main seals here on the side. All right, we finally got this piece off. Now we're just left with <laughs> the base metal here. Now we can finally see these last few screws. Wow, I had to disassemble the entire T-top just to get to this trim. That's so crazy. All right, there it is. Might as well refresh this while it's off too, huh? It looks like there's still additional rubber on here that I need to remove. This just glued on. So many parts of this, it's crazy. You guys are getting ready to slap on some skirts. I've never seen these before, dude. It's kind of crazy. You guys gotta see how this looks. Damn, that's sweet. But putting it on was no easy task. Andrew's a loser. Yeah, apparently this was quite the conversion, I guess you'd call it. So the side skirts factory actually go all the way up to here, and boom. This looks sweet. I like how it flares out like that. I think you're the first one to make a G35 look this sick. Damn, and with the new front bumper too. This thing is crazy. For a G35? Yeah, that's looking good. Wait till we get the G37 rear bumper, the spats go on, and then I think we're gonna finish off today. You haven't seen the taillight covers, right? Or they have put, seen the taillight yeah, covers? Yeah, yeah. Add the wing to the, the wing. taillight covers, yeah. yeah. That's gonna really help it flow. They're letting something glue in here, one of his trunk buttons, so once that's dry, they'll install it. But dang, that's looking sweet. Most of the body is ready to be sanded and prepped, but there's a few spots left. I need to figure out how to take out this antenna. It looks like we have two bolts down here and then one up here. Okay, so I found if you push this out a little bit, push that stud, this cap comes off. Wow. You got two flat faced screws. Front fenders and the Technically, there's a. Got Dr. Tim here. We'll be doctoring up. Oh, we're getting rained on. How my rust? <laughs> What rust? I don't see any rust. Forgot we gotta take off this third brake light. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like when you get your max cape and roots cape. And then full lift. <laughs> <laughs> the strength skill cape in RuneScape is exactly like that. The emo is like. <laughs> <laughs> you should have chose me for the Olympics. <laughs> Alright, so these are the OEM skirts that you're holding. What's them? left of them? Yeah. What's is it? <laughs> oh, that's what you guys cut off. Yeah. Okay, and then this is the aftermarket skirt. And then this just acts as a bracket for that. Really? Literally. They sandwich together and uh, that's the end of it. Wow. That's pretty neat. How do you guys... Who had the idea? I was very confused as to how these would get mounted <laughs> in the car. I'm sure people have bought them in the past and been like, how do you even put those on? Yeah, but, seriously. Uh, yeah. That's strange. Mm -hmm. But how do you guys plan to mount those to the OE skirt here? We're going to rivet it. Throw some rivets. You see right here? There's a flat. Okay. Little section here. And then we go like this. So we add the flat section to this flat section uh -huh. and then rivet them together. Oh. Lego. Okay. 
you're, you're right on the edge. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go to your side. Damn, that's good fitment too. Final product? Yep. Oh yeah? Uh, actually put those clips on first. Oh, and then we gotta get these up still too. Slips right in. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Andrew's a genius. Dude, this fitment looks great. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's fiberglass, so it's never going to be perfect, but I mean, most people's skirts are hanging on by 3M tape and dreams, so. And zip ties. Yeah, and zip ties, exactly, so. This looks legit. All right, next order of business in here. I actually need to take off this fender because this tab keeps breaking off. And this is how the corner of the bumper mounts. It attaches to the fender here and that's just gonna sag, and it was sagging before. So I wanna re-weld this and try and reinforce it so that this does not happen again. I've also never taken these fenders off, so hopefully we don't see any surprises. Well, we only snapped three bolts. One of them was right in the center here, that was kind of unfortunate. And the other two were on the bottom. You're honestly lucky to even get a socket onto those bolts, but yeah. That was a remnant of whatever was sitting inside the fender. Overall, not too bad in here though. Oof, the inside of this is looking pretty cooked. I think while I have the opportunity, I'm gonna try and hammer all of this smooth and then maybe even tack weld it down because this was down before, but it looks like the tire keeps grabbing it and just unfolding it. So that's why the fender looks like crap. You can see it's also starting to split. But this is the real problem we're having. I'm pretty good. Yeah. So hold the edges and pull the tape. Mm -hmm. How's it look? That's pretty sweet. The whole rear end of your car changed in one day. Especially with those tail light eyelid things. Yeah, I can't wait to trim them properly. They don't they don't flow how I want it right now. Really? Yeah, because if we cut the top of that off. Hmm. It won't obstruct that. Yeah, that's light. strange that they yeah. put it that I mean, far down. Flush right now, either. But oh, the trunk's popped. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. The other headlight needs to get hit. I I hit it. Before. I hit it before, but it's still not you know right. I know we're jumping a little bit ahead here, but Andrew has begun sanding down all of the spots that had dents. Now he's prepping the, oh, what is that? Pudding? Ice cream? <laughs> it's some body filler that we're gonna be using to fill these spots in. And while he's working on that, I'm going to start welding and prepping this fender. <laughs> I thought it was going to drop. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So it tells you how much hardener to put based on your circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh. You <laughs> shake it need a little there. shake. Looks like poo-poo. Poo-poo like Play-Doh. Poo -poo Play -Doh. <laughs>
forgot to take this off earlier. Looks like there's only three bolts, maybe two bolts? What? No way there's only two bolts holding this thing in. But the question is, should we put it back on or should we shave it? I kind of like having the RC wheel there. Then I can say I have a Blitz 03. Oh, there's a third one. Now since we took the skirts off, I totally forgot about this rust hole that's forming down here. And instead of patching this up, I think we're just going to cut it out so that it doesn't keep growing. Because we're always going to have skirts on this car, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm realizing this is kind of gummy, so maybe that's part of the reason it rusts. They put this rhino liner type stuff on from the factory. Looks to me that this side is rusting away too, so I'm just going to cut that one out. Currently, right now, I'm working on just scuffing the car. Andrew just finished doing the body work on the whole car, and he had me use a scuff pad to try and get any of the shiny spots that he did not get yet. While this may look like I'm mindlessly sanding away, I couldn't help but appreciate each scratch, paint chip, or rust spot. While these are imperfections, I've grown to know them during the past year I've daily driven the Z, and I can easily pick out each area that needed attention. While the flaws do make the car feel unique, there's a satisfaction to be found within sanding, welding, and stripping these areas down so that it can become its best version. I find the same to be true in life. What paint chips, flaws, or bad habits could you address and sand smooth? The world becomes a better place when you become the best version of you. The sanding on the body is done. We're gonna clean off the car, make sure we got every spot we needed to hit. And then we'll also clean the garage. Oh, was I leaking in there? Yeah, just a little bit. My bad, dude. You're good. Dang, You're K.A. The the only one that leaks when it comes in here, really? Yeah. All these old Nissans making your garage nasty. It happens very often. Andrew and I are getting ready to put the Z in primer, but before we do that, we wanted to realign the doors. What we mean by that is, Z, this is really common on Zs, I think just because of how heavy the door is, but when you close it, you can kind of see in there, it hits the hinge first. It makes for a nasty sound. You can see the wear indication on this striker here. Probably see it up here too, but either way, what we're doing is just Loosening up the bolts that hold on the door to the chassis. He's gonna loosen those and I'm gonna lift up on this side because, you know, after those hinges hold these doors up for 30 something years. Ready? Make it a little tired. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, it's like Lambo doors, yeah. Uh, yeah, hold it right there. It's still hitting a little bit. Super, super, just a super small amount. Okay. We got our door lined up with the chassis perfectly. And we're not hitting whatsoever here on the jam. Sweet. Thanks, boss. We did find a small rust spot in the back of the quarter panel here. But Andrew's going to throw a couple tack welds on it. Alright, Andrew got the car all taped up. I guess it's time for the color reveal. Just kidding. <laughs> Just 
just our soup. My signature, dude. Yeah. It's only nowhere to stop. So it was right here. Right there. This one? Yeah. Four to one to one to one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god. You got it. Dude. <laughs> okay, tilt it a little bit. Yeah. Ready? Uh-huh. I'm going all in. Send it. <laughs> dude! That's like perfect! Is it? That is literally perfect. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, slightly up, that's okay, because I'm probably going to need that much anyways. Wow. Good job. It was like $50 of $500. You didn't spill too much, actually. Is the hardener going in? Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. This is looking real good, Andrew. Good stuff. But I think that's where we're gonna end today's video. It's been three days of hard, gruesome work to get it this far. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.